Hello Facebook, YouTube, the day of Raphael, the Archangel God, is our healer, no not tear. He's a false god. Don't acknowledge false gods. Alright, topic of the message. Uh, today is still Rosh Hashanah. Uh, Rosh Hashanah happens on two days now. And God wanted me to give this message on this, I guess, two day, because it's called one whole day. And one is one long day. They call, uh, here, here, Mac. Mm -hmm. this, this, is your, this is your fault. This is mine. Thank you. We, we got two for our, two, We got two. Mm -hmm. you, you get one and I get one. Oh, okay. <laughs> I from Robbie. Um, the thing is, uh, he wanted me to do a message on the idea of the two long, I mean, the two days, but it's called a one long day of Rosh Hashanah. And it's really talking about um, Genesis 1, 31. And it's talking about that God pretty much said, now, you know about the creation story. First day was good. Second day was good. Third day was good. Fourth day was good. Fifth day was good, but when on the sixth day, God said it was very good. Now, the thing is, I mean, you got to under, if you have a relationship with God and understand God, when God says it's very good, that's a big, very good. <laughs> that, that very good is very meaningful. Um, up to understand that I'm going to pretty much break that down, you know, uh, for people to understand this. And it, this might be quite a quite simple uh, lesson, but a simple to understand lesson here. But simple to understand concerning the significance that God says, very good, and I'm going to show you a procedure pattern that... Uh, we need to understand concerning this good and very good. Now, understand that God, uh, the topic of the message right here, topic of the message is talking about uh, reality of God's good and very good. Now, the thing is, uh, in this world system we got here, that is coming up, well, the rulers of darkness of this world, um, that is over the country, of the United States and everywhere else, you know, the thing is, we understand that animals were created in the, uh, uh, was created, I guess, in the third day, and the fourth day, and the fifth day, I mean, you know what I'm saying, and God said they were good, but when he created male and female on the sixth day, he said, it, and he said, you know, replenish, multiply, you know, the earth, and now he said that was very good. Now, <laughs> uh, this world system is quite hilarious to me. If they, uh, the, the rules and the laws that has been established in this world as we know as Christians, that are a big violation to God concerning, of course, and I heard in the... Uh, uh, that uh, w when abortion was illegal, <laughs> yeah, abortion is illegal in the United States. You know, wait a minute, hold on. Isn't that talking about the human life that God created male and female to become very good? Yes, that human life that God created to be very good, you know what I'm saying, it's illegal to kill it. Now, the thing is, um, uh, all throughout history, it's all throughout history, those that study the, uh, the evil spirit, well, evil gods called Moloch, yeah, oh, he's a bad, bad, bad guy. He is all about, his agenda is all about, if you study him, is about taking babies' lives. You know, they use a human sacrifice, mainly babies, concerning unto him. And, of course, God hates that guy. 
Moloch. Um, the thing is, is in that all that all this idea of you know taking innocent human lives proceeds from him, you know. And the thing is, uh, it's a total violation towards God concerning the very good humanity that he created. That, of course, uh, America, the United States of America that put that law in there don't understand that. And, you know, you and a, a, a people in this country wonder why it's getting bad. And bad things are persisting and happening. Mm. Let me see here. Um, the thing is, you can't um, look. This is humanity is very dear to God. I mean, uh, I hope that Jesus Christ giving his life and you know taking thirty nine lashes and a crown of thorns and carrying a cross and giving his all in all. To try to save humanity should be a good enough, hopefully, view to show how much God's love and passion that he has for his humanity. That he wants this relationship so bad for him to send his son or send himself in the flesh to come down to get this relationship back together with God. Can show you the passionate desire of how God wants to get this relationship together and show you that the love that God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him shall not perish but have everlasting life that he's looking for people those to choose to love him not to uh, uh, manipulate them to love him uh, but choose to love him by showing forth his love towards him. And the thing is that he show forth his love towards us, that we will show forth his love towards him as what Paul, like what Paul says in, in the Philippians 3, that I may apprehend him that apprehended me. More likely, I may go after God and tackle him. I call it tackle him. And he 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 tackled me first, then I go tackle him. You know what I'm saying? That I look at it that way. Um the thing is, and that's what this love relationship is supposed to would want to be based upon. But unfortunately, of course, this uh church system, religious church system that established us don't really project God that way. And the thing is, you know, it's sad. That's another message, but let me focus on really the good and very good. Now, understand that animals, and you know, of course, they got it's illegal to uh, touch a, a, a eagle's nest or illegal to mess with certain animals and stuff like that, but it's legal to take a human life. How how senseless and evil is supposed to be that. You know what I'm saying? And the thing is, you know, is how senseless and evil that is concerning, you know, unto God. You know, and the thing is, and unto humanity. You know, uh, like, you know, um, I, I read a post. Uh, I read a post. Uh, somebody sent a picture and put, you know, uh, that, you know, these rulers of darkness in the world kept saying that it's too much population in Zora. It's too much population in I think we need to decrease on the population in this world by such and such an amount. Like millions of people need to get rid of it. The world is too overly populated, you know. And, and you know, a person put there, okay, you first. <laughs> Yeah, yeah, we need to get rid of you first. Okay, let's get rid of you and the other people that think like you do, you know. But the thing is, here's the thing, you know, of course, Satan's scheme is about making you believe to magnify these creatures that were created when God said it was good to make these people, make these creatures, sorry, make these creatures animals that says God has said it was good, better than the one that God created and said it was very good. 
that these creatures are made in his image, in his likeness. Humanity, you know what I'm saying? And it's like people are swaying to lean towards uh, taking out a human life than more than, you know, taking care of a good creature. You know what I'm saying? Not saying that we're supposed to be killing every good creature, you know, but we should respect and replenish properly, you know, concerning the uh, animals that are in the world because they're God's creatures. He spoke them to existence. We should utilize as much as we can from them, but not be greedy. You know, I agree with protecting certain animals and utilize them to a certain extent to keep the population of the species alive. I do believe in that idea. But at the same time, you get you just slap getting rid of humanity, you know, with this ideal legal of abortion. But the thing is, of course, humanity, you know, this man, United States, it happens everywhere too, is, you know, uh, on agenda to get rid of God's very good. And uh, that is not going to sit right with God. And the thing is, you know, that's why judgment pretty much, uh, I don't know if I could, if you know this, the guillotine has to be uh, done with America concerning what they've been, you know, doing concerning all these things about uh, attacking the very good uh, image, of course, uh, same as marriage, you know what I'm saying? And, you know, all this stuff to attack the production of the family that, you know, God has established on this earth. The very good thing that God established on the earth. You do not want to fool with God's very good. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, every Satan got people as God and out there thinking that, oh, God ain't going to bother me. God ain't going to do nothing to me. Uh, whatever. You know, they think they're, you know, of course, beyond God or God doesn't exist, you know. Um, and, you know, they think that they can continually break God's law and break God's will and God ain't going to do nothing to them. And convincing everybody else to believe that lie. But all of a sudden, yeah, here we go. You know, and the thing is, God is about his very good. And guess what? A lot of people are going to find out the hard way of how much God is about his very good. You know what I'm saying? Hard way. And those of leadership, those of leadership mainly. And the thing is, you know, we this day is the celebration of the very good thing that God created concerning the extension of Rosh Hashanah. You know, the long very day is to celebrate the very good that God has established that we are not seeing ourselves in our image, his image in the likeness of God because we're operating in darkness. We're not seeing the very good creature that God has created because, of course, Satan has deceived them. But I hope and I encourage you from this video that you start finding, start, you know, under seeking after, seeking first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and start you know, um, developing and you know, applying and developing God's word to establish a relationship with him, that you start taking his word to wash you clean so you can see the very good person that God created you in his image and the likeness is what you need to understand that God desires you to do that, to see the very good creature. See the very good creature you are and see the very good creature everybody else is. Everybody, every humanity. And start showing forth the love of God to what God, you know, very good creatures God created. You see how that idea works? All right, that's the message. I hope you understand this. And I hope you start seeing the very good creature that God created you. And he didn't create you good, but he created you very good that you need to understand and get out of darkness and operate into and get into the marvelous light of Jesus Christ and start, you know, operate in that very goodness to have a cl closer relationship with your creator. All right, that's the message. To God be the glory, here and forever and ever in Jesus' name. Amen. Be very good. Seek after to become.